And yet you have no desire to find out who the Half-Blood Prince is. I didn't say I wasn't curious, and I don't sleep with it. Well, it's true. Well, I've got a nice chat before I go to bed. Now you do is read that bloody book. It's like being with a mining. Well, I was curious. So I went to the, the library. library. And? And nothing. I couldn't find a reference anywhere to a half-blood prince. There we go, that settles it then. Yeah. Ah, I was hoping to find you in the three broomsticks. Ah, uh, no, uh, emergency choir practice, I'm afraid, Horace. <laughs> <clears throat> Does anyone fancy a butter bear? Uh, a tub of mine was sledging down Claxby Hill. We had a very long, homemade Norwegian style of sledging. No, not that. We battled down, we hit what must have been the snow covered. No, sit beside me. It snapped. Okay. Something to drink? Um, three butter beers and some ginger in mine, please. I sat in <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Slip again. Obviously, well, they're only holding hands. And snogging. I'd like to leave. What? You can't be serious. That happens to me, my sister. So? If she looked over here and saw you snogging me, would you expect her to get up and leave? Hey, my boy! Oh, so wonderful to see you. And you! And you! So, what brings you here? Oh, three broomsticks and I go way back further than I care to admit. I can remember when it was one broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> All hands on deck, Granger. Listen, my boy. In the old days, I used to throw together the occasional supper party. A select student or two. Would you be game? Uh, I'd consider it an honour, sir. Uh, you'd be welcome too, Granger. <laughs> I'd be delighted, sir. Splendid. Look for my owl. <laughs> Good to see you, Wallenby. What are you playing at? Dumbledore's asked me to get to know him. Get to know him? I don't know. It must be important. If it wasn't, Dumbledore wouldn't ask. Oh, God, a little bit. 